Hey everyone, in my previous video uh, we were looking at the worst rated distro on DistroWatch and today we're looking at the highest rated distro on DistroWatch and that distribution is Void Linux. Now if you look at Elementary which is bottom of the list you'll see the average rating is 4.9 and the most common rating for Elementary is 1 out of 10. Whereas if you look at Void the rating is so much higher and the average rating that you get given is 10 out of 10 so the most common repeated rating is 10 out of 10 so today we're going to look at void Linux we're going to say why is it so highly rated and why does it get away with things that elementary doesn't get away with whilst void is a decent Linux distribution I wouldn't say I'd recommend it for the everyday Linux user I'll say that upfront because if you're looking to use this and you think it's going to be an easy install and an easy ride you're in for um, a little bit of a disappointment. So essentially Void is an independent distribution and it comes up with its own package managers and tooling etc and it's definitely for the more experienced Linux user as opposed to um, the everyday Linux user or new user. So uh, what you'll see me doing here is I've created a virtual machine and you'll see me installing it and you'll see that the even to run the installer is a terminal command that you have to run sued void hyphen installer and it comes up with this sort of uh, text based installer and you basically have to work your way through the screens and choosing things like time zones languages it's a lot of scrolling down and working out which one to choose uh, the partitioning is very manual and you'll see here that you even have to um, set the uh, boot to um, flag on the partition that you want to boot from and uh, I've only gone for the old school in installation partitioning I didn't go for EFI uh, that's it's not that much more complicated but um, you have to add a new EFI partition so partitioning uh, it's not like a graphical screen that you get with something like elementary or Ubuntu and then it'll run the installer and it installs and you can see you get a very plain XFCE desktop environment once XFCE is installed and you've got void up and running you'll notice that there isn't much installed by default and if we look at my review of elementary the th key things I said that a distribution needs to have are one it should be easy to install two it should not be buggy and should be easy to set up and use three uh, should have a def good default set of applications and four it should be easy to install other applications now elementary gets one out of ten in a lot of categories because it doesn't fulfill these very well and arguably you could say the same about void because void whilst you can get Wi-Fi up and running easily enough there's no print setup there's no Bluetooth so hardware is not um, as straightforward as it is for other distributions so you'll, you'll see me here setting up Bluetooth and you'll see it's a series of commands and you have to set up these services and you have to use symbolic links to set up the services after you've used the package manager the XBPS um, package manager to install the applications there is no default graphical package manager installed so you have to install all these Bluetooth services and then you'll see me install uh, Pulse Audio and eventually I'll get Bluetooth to work. And the same with the printing, um, you'll see I have to uh, install system config uh, printer and I also have to install um, cups and I then install the HP Lip service as well because I'm using a HP printer. You can see from a starting point that Void isn't for the everyday Linux user because there's a lot of command line usage involved and indeed um, there's very few packages installed by default in fact the the only one that's really going to help you other than um, you've got a file manager and stuff that comes with XFCE anyway um, the only one that's really going to help you is Firefox uh, which is your web browser and XFCE is the bog basic um, XFCE there's none of the XFCE goodies um, so I've installed the whisker menu by myself as you will um, see here and therefore you need to uh, install your own packages so 
Um, you'll see throughout the, the course of this video I install various things like uh, Rhythm Box, Shotwell, GIMP and LibreOffice and it's quite easy to do and I also install a graphical uh, package manager called OctiBPS or something like that and that enables you to install packages um, from the native repositories in a more graphical way. So if you are the everyday Linux user you'll probably want to install that piece of software. Uh, so I haven't installed that, you can then install packages, but it's very much like Synaptic, um, so it's not like um, a, a flashy software manager like you get with GNOME or um, KDE. So Flatpak installs, uh, again you can go to the Flatpak setup and it will give you the commands to install Flatpaks. Even if I install like GNOME software manager, I can then find the plugin for Flatpaks, so then you um, have to use the command line to install Flatpaks. So with all this said and done, Elementary is bottom of the ratings with 4.96 and Void is at the top. So why does Void get an easy ride compared to something like Elementary? And it's all about perception and what you've offered to the audience. So for Elementary, they're offering a great user experience, easy installation of things, um, a fully f featured desktop. They're basically offering a Rolls Royce and selling you a Reliant Robin. Whereas Void aren't selling you that. Void are very much like IKEA. They're giving you the flat pack to build your own stuff and it's up to you to build it. So it's all about perception. So if you go to the elementary website, you'll see it's all flashy and it's asking for money. That's another thing. It's asking for money for one installation and two, when you get into the package manager, it's asking for money for the apps that are in there. Void isn't doing that and you don't look at Void and think, hey, we're. Um, getting an easy ride here and everything's going to be running as soon as you install it. So I think perception is key and that's where elementary is let down and why Void gets away with it. Now it looks to me like Void is along the same lines as Arch so you're going to get more experienced users using it and they probably like the fact that it's very lightweight and it's bog basic and it's up to you to install exactly what you want to do. And I found that once I got everything up and running it was actually very lightweight and very easy to use um, but for the everyday Linux user I would not recommend this um, as a starting point um, because you are going to hit issues. So Void is top of the list, Elementary is at the bottom of the list and it's all down to perception. Um, what your expectations are uh, against what you actually get. And that's the end of the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.